Hello, so this is just a quick video to show you how to make an enclosure for this gear so that you can attach a, a, a wheel and axle which is all one piece um, which is 3D printed. So here we've got a motor we want to attach the axle to this little gear over here and so this is a 6mm 10 tooth gear so here we go this is this this is what it's going to look like at the uh, halfway through and we'll start a new design so uh, let's create a sketch choose our plane and what we're going to do straight away is go to tools and add-ins uh, and scripts and add-ins and we're going to click on spur gear it's going to create a gear we don't want to create a gear we want to create a gear shaped hole but we'll get onto that Okay, so the gear is, now this is just a rough estimate. You will have to 3D print this and just see if it actually fits if you have one of these motors. But uh, let's choose 0 0.6 for the module. That will end up being six millimeters. Uh, number of teeth will be 10. Backlash, we won't worry about that. Root fillet radius, let's get rid of that. Uh, gear thickness, it doesn't matter because we're gonna delete the gear anyway. Hold the whole diameter zero uh, and let's make it a little bit bigger let's say 0.63 um, just so it can fit around the gear so we'll see if this works okay so if we click OK we'll see we've got a tiny tiny little gear here and this is hopefully a replica of this gear you can see it looks kind of similar okay so now what we're going to do, because this is actually a 3D gear, you can see now, uh, we're actually going to make a hole around this gear. So we'll click on this face, this top face here, and we'll click solid and make another sketch. This will enable us to, once actually, that's actually ready. And we'll go finish sketch, this, this original sketch. Okay, we had to get rid of that original sketch, I just realized. Okay, so we'll click on this, then we'll click create sketch. Now that's another sketch on top of the face. That's what we want. Because we're really just using the shape of this gear. So we'll make a circle. And then we'll finish this sketch and extrude just this shape around it. So if we click on this and click extrude and we'll move this around just to see what we're doing here. I'll just pan it down, press escape. Now we can move this up and see how now, now we're making this enclosure. Now we want it to be around uh, one centimeter long just so it, uh, maybe a bit less. So let's go eight millimeters. Maybe nine, eight or nine. Okay, and then click OK. Now, we didn't really want this gear over here, this original gear. So that's actually, this, this gear is actually enclosed in this thing. This is basically a list of instructions. So if I click plus on here, that shows the whole list of instructions that went into making the gear. But we're just gonna click on, right click on this and then click uh, remove. And we'll delete the whole thing. And this is going to show some warnings, which basically I think that means that uh, we can't use it for, we can't kind of modify this now. Anyway, <coughs> so now we've got our enclosure, but <coughs> this isn't very useful yet because we want to attach this to an axle. So I would like to just make this a little bit uh, longer and then make it into an axle. So bit by bit, we'll, we'll get that done. So let's click on this top face, make, make another sketch on top of that. Okay, and we'll make another circle. And then we'll extrude that circle. So we'll finish that sketch. We've got a face here, and we've also got a face in the middle. I'm gonna hold control and click this. Now we can extrude this whole thing. We've got the hole. Now we just want some solid plastic. So let's extrude that for another 
uh, let's just say five millimeters. And do we want the axle to be this thick? That's the question. I probably, we can probably get away with making it a bit, well, th six millimeters, is that about right? Uh, maybe it is. If we make it much smaller, maybe it will snap. So why don't we actually instead make this instead of five millimeters, let's make it, for how long do we want it? Let's say we want it around five centimeters and then we attach the wheel onto that. So that would have to be 50 millimeters. But it's gonna go up forever. And it looks like it's really big, but it's actually not that big. If we look around, we'll still have the hole at the bottom. So if I orbit that, maybe not. Maybe let's use this thing. I don't know how to use that orbit tool yet properly. All right, so you can still see a little, there's a hole in the bottom, but it doesn't go on forever. There's a hole and that attaches to the gear and then the rest of it is axle. Okay, that's good. So what we're gonna do is select this face and we'll just make the wheel and it'll just stick onto this. So create a sketch. Uh, okay, now what we'll do is we'll make a circle. How big do we want this wheel? Let's just say we want it uh, five centimeters in diameter. Let's say six centimeters. So we'll have 60 millimeters and press enter. Like you can just type in 60 and it'll go and go to 60. Okay, so finish sketch and we'll just extrude this. Keep in mind this won't work at all unless you select this center hole as well. Uh, all right, so how thick do we want the wheel? Let's say four, four millimeters thick. So let's go, well, let's say five. Let's make it a fairly solid uh, wheel and axle. Okay, so let's click okay. And what does it look like? Let's zoom out. And let's move this around so we can see. There we go. So this just fits under the gear and is it's an axle and a wheel. So that's perfect. Now, if you want to wait, make your wheel a little bit nicer, uh, go ahead. You can make shapes on here and cut them out uh, and do various things, but that's the basics. Okay. So there you go.